We're here in Montreal, conclusion of the Grand Prix Cyclist de Montréal, talking with Mike Woods from Team Canada, who is the top Canadian today. Uh, Mike, um, pretty strong finish. We're not quite sure what position it was. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if you know, but you were certainly there in that final group at the finish. Yeah, I think it was about uh, top, probably top 20 position. You know, uh, you, you don't really, you, you have a lot of difficulty counting the, the guys in front of you when you finish. Uh, but yeah, no, I, really happy, I was really happy to be in that front group, but a bit, not, not very satisfied with my positioning at the end. I didn't, didn't. Uh, I got a bit complacent and I didn't really push to be, be a, at the front on that final, uh, switch, uh, the final 180 turn, and that cost me big time. You know, I, I, I had no chance in the sprint because I was so far back. But uh, you know, it was good, good learning lesson. This, uh, this weekend was my first, uh, were my first two races at the World Tour level, and, and uh, you know, for that it being my first time here, I can't be too disappointed. So what are some of the uh, things you're taking away from, from being at the World Tour? Um, it's obviously a way higher level of racing. Uh, you know, everyone here is uh, a, a phenomenal bike handler and uh, everybody here really knows how to, how to suffer. And uh, you, because of that, you, 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 can't, you can't be, like I said, you can't be complacent. You've got to really make sure you're always fighting for position, being at the front, and especially when you're on a smaller team like a national team. Um, when you have a bit less less help, I, I had a lot of help from my teammates, but uh, near the end, when you you really gotta you gotta make that extra effort to be at the front, and that, that cost me today. But uh, uh, in future races, I'm gonna make sure I, I I work a bit harder to get to the front. So overall, um, happy with your results. I mean, what what was your goal here? Coming in coming in here, I knew uh, I I knew I was in great shape. Uh, my 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 big goal was was shooting for a top ten. I just kind of fell out of that, you know, uh, being in the top twenty, but still making the front group. Uh, it's hard to be uh, it's hard to be dissatisfied, but uh, uh, obviously I would have I, I, I you know I would I'm pretty competitive. I would have liked to be in that top ten. Now I mean going forward, um, what's the situation for you for team next year? Are you looking for a team? Any any anything set up yet? Uh, so far, still talking to teams. I mean, uh, with my age, uh, you know, I'm turning 28 this year, 27 right now. Uh, it is a bit more difficult to find spots on teams. Uh, but uh, one thing that is going for me is that, you know, this is only my third year cycling and, uh, and I'm already kind of rising up and making uh, big steps. Um, hopefully, you know, uh, uh, in the next couple of weeks, so I can lo lock something down, uh, whether that be at the continental or pro continental level. Uh, I, I really hope I can sign a contract soon. Great. Well, thanks very much, and congrats on uh, Top K in uh, this race. Thanks so much.